welcome back everyone welcome back to car salvage 101 and we have the arrival of the 700 pound lounge that i purchased arrived about half hour ago and we've just reversed it onto the driveway i've not looked around it so this is going to be the first time fingers crossed it's going to be good. I don't expect this to have as much crap as um, a recent one that I did. Um, I think a lot of it's been cleared out. So, um, so yes, yeah, so this is going to be a walk around video to determine what we have. Have we got ourselves something fairly decent or something that's going to take a bit of work? That's the thing. Compared with the other ones that are around, um, yeah, it looks very knackered. So, where do we start? So let's start at the worst part and the reason that this has been written off. Um, we are looking at this bumper here. Now, obviously right behind here is a crash bar. And I'm hoping that that crash bar is all good until we get this off we don't know um, it's taken a hit there um, and if we look that light's all right there's no issues with that light there it's obviously popped out of here which is fair enough there's no damage to there and then if we go to this side this light has popped out as you can see, but again, no damage here. So I'm quite happy that at the moment we are just looking at this bumper. Windscreen wipers looks good. No marks to the window. What is good is that it doesn't appear we've got any damage to here. So I'm happy there. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay. Cat in, huh? A cat in. Interesting. I don't think this is a cat in, do you? Actually, what's that? That's nothing to do with the bat bumper. Right, we've got an issue here. Because... Get rid of that tool, get rid of that tool kit. Which, at the moment, we're just looking for a locking wheel nut. Hopefully it's in here. Look at that. Look at that. That has been pushed in. That's taken a massive hit and pushed that in from underneath. So, hmm. that's interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's get this out. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm very disappointed because a cat N, you would be saying that that's a cat S, wouldn't you? Hmm, okay. Right. Well, we'll have a look basically when we get the uh, bumper off. But yeah, automatically already. That's very disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, just general crap in here that we've got. What have we got? Headlight bulbs. Just general stuff. Got a little receipt here. Uh, what's this one for? Let's have a look, shall we? It's a Primark receipt. Uh, oh, 
a ripped thong and spearmint gum interesting right okay so you can see from here again doesn't look too bad from here down the side let's have a look at these those are brand new tires I mean that kind of gives it away uh, what's the brand Oh, is that Falcon? Falcon tyres. So that's not a bad brand, actually. Happy with that. Um, seal is good. Down there. That's good. Uh, this looks like a new strip, because it's quite... Um, it's got all the colour on it. Because on the other side, we'll come to that, it's all faded. This tyre has completely and utterly had it. Like, completely. Again, what's interesting, there's actually a lot of tread on that. I wonder if Copart have destroyed that. Well, it's gonna be one of two things. You've either hit the kerb, you've been shunted from behind and hit the kerb and punctured the tyre, or um, Copart have, um, damaged it but unfortunately that had quite a good bit of tread left on that so we need to get that off um, and get a new tyre otherwise yeah got a nice chrome mirrors that's been taken off which is annoying because that gives you a good idea of the time that this has been picked up from the front we are generally not too bad this will just need pulling into place um i think yeah i think we haven't had an accident but that just needs pulling out uh, and pulling into place so try and do that at some point uh, uh those little pins underneath have broken all three they have little pins there but you wouldn't actually notice that really but otherwise there's not actually really been a frontal impact as such we can sort this out that's quite easy to do and then we've got a good amount of tread on that one that's a Macotra 3 never heard of them and again looking at the sill that's pretty good, but yeah, this is where the problem is, as you can see here. This is completely faded. So I'm thinking of taking those off. I'm hoping they're relatively new and they can just come off quite easily. And, um, tiny, tiny crease in the door. You can't really see it probably, but I just noticed that tiny crease. But otherwise, and there's a little tiny crease here, little ding there. Um, right, now we're going to go into the internals. Problem, we have no remote key. We have a bog standard normal key. So we need to get a guy to come out. I've got a guy who can do remote keys for 120 quid. So we're going to have to get him out to do that. Right, tiny bit of cracking down here. You're probably going to accept that on a car that's 12 years old, unfortunately. So it has had some wear. So they obviously had had, had a passenger at some point. No real clean out in here or in there. Let's push that back. I don't think these come... No, they don't have a box, so there's no secret compartment in the leather seat. But yeah, it's all been cleaned out here. There's your locking wheel nut, so that is good. Nothing in there either, unfortunately. So it's looking fairly bare, if I'm being honest with you, in here. Uh, that's broken. That's not, but we haven't got a little chrome piece there. 
put the radio on. That's point, I need to check. Oh, it's on AUX. Let's just turn that down. Blimey, that was at 30. Bear with me a minute. Let's just see, hopefully we can get a radio signal. It's not looking good. Can't find anything. We have a CD. What is it? I'm going to guess Adele or Ed Sheeran. That's probably going to be my guess. Let's have a look. Pixie Lot. Pixie Lot is the CD of choice. But, yeah, no radio signal at the moment. Ah, oh, look, the chrome piece for this is just sitting in there. Right, that's good. Um, right, what else have we got? Oh, I've got the sticky in here. I'm going to try and unravel this, bear with me. I think I got picked up on the 31st of July. Okay. Right. Uh, we are all good on uh, the dash, the speedo, so that's good. Uh, it did run and drive off here, so that's good. Let's pop the bonnet. Turn the radio off. Oh yeah, I need to work out if the if this is broken or not actually we'll put the um we'll sort out the ignition in a minute and see if this has just dropped for a reason or whether someone just hasn't done it up okay let's have a look here bear with me right Very dirty in here. What have we got? Bosch battery, so that should be all right. Not too bad. Everything seems to be in place. The stick has gone completely from there. So that indicates we have uh, had a cam belt change at some point. We can Let's have a look at the oil. It's not too bad, I don't think. Put that back in there. All good with that. Obviously, we don't know if the aircon is running well and it's cold. Need to check the coolant. But otherwise, yeah, there's no hits, nothing, no broken tabs. Is this broken? To some extent it is. You can see it slides there. You can see where it's been. They've tried to um, sort it out in the past because they've put a strap on there. Right. Okay. Let's shut that. So, we looks like just looking at it. Oh, come on. Okay, so looking at it, we do have an aerial. So we might need to replace the, um, what do you call it? The base, might need to do that. What else do we need to do? Let's evaluate where we're at. We need a remote key. We need a new tire. We need an aerial. We need a new rear bumper. And we are going to need to do a lot of work to push 
that I was going to say footwell wheel well wheel well yeah we need to push that get that out I was hoping it would be a quicker turnaround if I'm not going to be if I'm being yeah 100% brutally honest with you I was hoping we could just get a bumper on um, basically I've ordered a pot bumper and a separate chrome piece and I'm going to be able to just attach the chrome piece to the pop bumper. That worked out cheaper than getting a lounge bumper. Um, yeah. Okay. Dis. Uh, how do we say it? Disappointed. Yes. It's realistically this is a cat s. Let's be honest. It's a cat s. Um, But, yeah, it is what it is. Um, we can still make some money from it. We'll, uh, what was it, 700 plus fees just after a grand. Delivery, 160. I think it owes about 1,200 at the moment. Remote key, 120. So what's that now? 1,320. Um, bumper's about 100. So that's 1,420. Yeah. Fourteen twenty tire, fifty quid. So I think we're looking at about fifteen hundred to get it all done. Anyway, one ah, one last thing I've got to do. One last thing. Let's just test to make sure that the window is okay. Yeah, it's had a good old it's had a good old clean out. I haven't left anything. Um, right, make sure that we don't hit the missus car. Quick check, nothing in there. No, that's all been cleared out. Right. In the ignition. Right, that is up, that's good. Is that broken? No, that's good, that's just slipped in there. That is good. Right. Running lights, they've got to be checked. We might actually have to get the bumper off. That's what we might have to do. Interesting the clock's flashing, which indicates that this has had to be jump started maybe at some point. Okay. Right. There you have it. I'm going to get out of the sun. Pointing directly in the sun. It's not good for video footage. Right. There we have it. 2012 lounge. Minor issues at the front. Uh, tire. Big issues at the back. Need to sort that out. And hopefully we'll end up getting it looking like the missus car which incidentally is going i need to get rid of that soon so right thank you all for watching please let me know your thoughts comments what do you think you see all insurance companies i think have uh, buggered up haven't they with a category what do you reckon um hit the like button really helps me and yeah all your comments are uh, appreciated until next time uh, this is Alex signing out and I'll see you all again very very soon see you later